Hey! <laughs> Whoo, we about to get into some good calls today. Let's do it. Hello? Yes. All right, all right. How how do you pronounce your name? Sh- Shakia? Shakisha? No, Shakia, you had it right the first time. Oh, Shakia. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. I always like hey, like I said, I I I beat up people's names, so I, I wanna I wanna ev- ev- you know apologize to you in advance. But uh okay. that, but that's what's up. All right, all right. So Shakia is in Oh, excuse me, I gotta redo that again. Shakia in the building. Uh, what's going on, little lady? I'm doing great. How are you? I am. I am awesome today. I am rolling right now. I'm heading to Ohio, but the weather. Well, the weather is semi nice. I mean, it ain't. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't as bad as it was yesterday, but. Right. You know, but it's still it's still raining, and you know, and I'm I'm just you know I'm just blessed to be here. That's all. You know, I'm just blessed to be here. Um, that's what's up. So that's what's up, man. So um, Shakia reached out to me uh, in the comment, and you wanted to know how to get in contact with me, and I'm over here like, what do I do? <laughs> you know, when people be like, yo, how to get in contact with you, like. I don't know if I should, but um, but uh, you 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 me and you went back and forth, you know, off, and come to find out that you had an issue with one of the with one of the companies that I did uh that I did an MTC on, and mm-hmm. you wanted to come on and share your experience and what are you doing in the process of uh rectifying uh said issues so let's start let, let's let's start with a little bit of background about yourself first before we get into all of that uh introduce yourself and let everybody know you know what you was doing before you got into trucking um uh, well my name is Shakia and um before I got into trucking I was working with special needs mm-hmm. um and I've been trucking for four years, four years now. So okay, okay, all right. So special needs. Um, what what made you move from from now special needs as in special needs kids or special needs adults? Children and adults. Oh, children and adults. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what? What kind of made you move from that profession? I mean, I I would assume the money would have been would, would have been good in that, right? Um. Well, when you're working with special needs, um, it's it's it, there's it's it's not that it's difficult. It's a lot of politics in it, oh, okay. and if you're a person that does not that's that's not like injustice mm-hmm. um that's my it is i mean you could be a person that just works for the check but if you're really uh what they consider a mandated reporter you're very concerned about the children and the right. adults it's going to be hard for you to just continue to sit there and watch the negligence and things that go on within the uh those programs and things so um I mean, and the money is not really there. Uh, it's not really there. Okay. And most people do it because, it's you know, it's a quick check. You know, um, I don't really have to watch you. Oh, you just bumped your head. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. people are really not there for them. So the money is really not there. And the reason why I got into trucking is due to a friend of mine uh, was telling me how they got on you know, with their finances and how they were able to better their situation through trucking. So when when they explained me that, it took me like a year later to like actually 
put in the steps to go into trucking. So. Now, now, you know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, especially in today's situation, what's going on. I mean, it's it's a lot of right now. It, it's like it's a lot of scare tactics uh, to get people mm-hmm. into this industry. Uh, mm-hmm. And I and I think I, I think it's 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 much more pushed by the media. Oh, there's a 80,000, you know, there's 80,000 uh, truck driver shortage and the supply chain is being affected because there's not enough truck drivers. And then we got to get uh, truck drivers into this, you know, so that we can keep America moving and all like that. But mm-hmm. I mean, you know, trucking works for people that make it work. I, I, I should say that. Um, right. You know, a lot of a lot of people will come in and say, oh, OK, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Yada, 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 yada. Trucking is this, that and the third. But you can't you can't base your situation or your experience around what they are doing. You know, they you know, they they probably, you know, they probably making making the money the way they making the money because of how they doing it. And then when they tell you like. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you can come in and make six figures and all like that. Yada 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 yada. And then when you get into it, you you figure it out for yourself. Like, oh no, this this isn't for me. <laughs> I, I didn't know I had to go through all the grind, or all the struggle, through all the sacrifices. I didn't know I had to do all that. Right. Wait, I, what you mean to tell me? I got to stay out two, three weeks before I go back home? What? Huh? <laughs> well, right. yo, wait a minute. Wait, I I gotta ask to go back home too like what huh yeah so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um so um, for, i think with oh go uh, ahead no, my, no go ahead go ahead um i think um uh, one thing i really really noticed is that when when my friend mentioned trucking mm-hmm. the trucking industry i was really i was like how do you even get in and he was like oh you just go apply you can go to the school with the trucking company i'm like seriously I think one issue within a lot of the communities is that it's not talked about as a trade. Mm. So a lot of people do not look at the trucking industry because you don't go to school and they say, oh, go to trucking or, you know, go fly the plane or, Mm -hmm. you know, they don't talk about trades. They talk about, oh, go be a nurse, go be a doctor. So trucking is not a big thing for a lot of people to look at. Also, when I, because I attended CR England, when you at CR England, a lot of these drivers are so, uh, I hate to say it like this, but they're extremely insecure. They come on the road with their issues. And if you're someone that has a strong mind on yourself, you're a hustler, you like, I, I just need to get from point A to point Z, you know, a lot of these uh, trainers or whatever they may call themselves, they they're not um they don't have the umph to give you because mm. they're miserable already mm. so you go in with your ambition but you're you're next to people that don't have the same ambition mm. so then when you get out here and like i'm on my own truck I, you know i just want to do me now you don't of course you're not going to have the tools because the trainer you had don't tell you how to put chains on you mm. and then um, a lot of seasoned truck drivers don't grasp that. They think that a lot of us that's new into the industry are just feeling like we know everything. It's not that we know everything. We literally had to get it out of the mud ourselves because a seasoned driver is not having the respect to literally show us the way. Wow. So it's not that we don't have a respect for seasoned drivers. It's just that a lot of them are very miserable. They, they on these high horses that they don't want to come down, but you want to tell somebody how to drive, how to do it, when to do it, where to move. Um, so it makes it very hard. It's, it's, I, I grasp, I respect those that have paid away. But where where does the gap come to where we can meet and have a mutual respect for each other and show the way for each other? Exactly. Show how it's properly done without, without the I've been in it 20 years and all this and that. Like, I, I get that. But if I'm new, just show me. It, it only t- like sometimes I park a trailer. I'm like, OK, this is 20 year vet, but he is kind of cricket. It only takes two minutes to repark the trailer and drop it. Mm. Things like that, you know, so it's, 
it's it's not a industry that's talked about a lot. Exactly, you know? facts, man. You know, mm-hmm. let me let me tell you something. You know, this this is the Lockout Men podcast show, the coolest podcast on the tube right now, and I and I just love talking to interesting people like you know like Shakira right here you know what i'm saying uh, is 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 just to sit here and just have an enjoyable conversation on on your backstory or how you feel about you know how to, how you feel about things and how you feel about trucking and you know just just to sit here and you know just to touch bases just to touch bases with you and what you just said within that with within your little uh, saying right there is all true and it's all factual you know nobody don't uh we, we're we're not in school when we go to school only thing that we're taught that we're taught is is like yo be be a teacher be a doctor mm-hmm. be uh be a lawyer you know that's what we talk we're not mm-hmm. talking about we're not taught trades we're not talking about mm-hmm. well go out there and be a plumber uh go out mm-hmm. there and be a a, a a lawn care specialist uh go out there to be electrician. a le- electrician or go out there to be a mm-hmm. truck driver you know what i'm saying that's not mm-hmm. talked about it mm-hmm. that's well at least mm-hmm. when i was coming up that's not that wasn't talked about in school you know, he managed, you know, how checks work and credit and all like that. They don't even say they don't even teach us that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. So that that was awesome. I wish I had the hand clap right now, but I think I'll probably <laughs> add that in in a minute. But um, all right. So without getting what without without going in too much detail, you say you started your career with CRST. No, CR England. I mean, CR England. Well, mm-hmm. CRST, mm-hmm. CR England. They're, <laughs> they're, they're both. The they're, they're all the same. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm surprised they're not. I'm surprised they're not on. Well, yeah, I, I am surprised if they be owned by the same company. But <laughs> they, they both do the same bullshit. So mm-hmm. with C, I mean, uh, with 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 CR England, uh, mm-hmm. you decided to get your uh license through them, uh. Mm-hmm. Did you, I'll, I'll, I will accelerate this. So did you, you event, you, you got your license. So did you go out, uh, was it two to a trailer or two, two to a truck when you went out, uh, training for your license or how was the experience with you at CR England? Uh, well, um, yes, I got my, um, license first try around. Um, I actually asked them, could I wait on a female trainer instead of a male? Mm -hmm. That did not happen. So I ended up going on the road with a male trainer. Um, that was not a great experience. Like I said, people are very miserable. And a lot of these males feel like, oh, you got to sleep with me or, you know, like Mm -hmm. they carry these little titles to themselves or whatever. And they try to push it off on you. Mm -hmm. Um, so I went with him and then, you know, CR England offers the, oh, once you complete your first round, then you can go on and with your own career after you complete your first round of training. Mm -hmm. But that's not how that works. They lied and said I had to do six more months of training with another trainer before I could start my own career. Cause I want to do it by myself. I don't want to be with people I don't know. Mm -hmm. So got another male trainer that didn't work uh almost got my first ticket because i didn't know how to shift weight um then once i got off with him i ended up with a female but i had to train her um that didn't work because i had once i learned how to get the money that's all my because i wanted to work by myself Mm -hmm. and see our england don't pay a lot so Mm -hmm. it's like once I learned how to get to the money, that's how I started rolling. And so this uh, young lady, she wasn't like hustle like that. So I wanted her off the truck. So <laughs> um, wait, one how, day I broke down. How so. long? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Six months, man. Six, <laughs> six months in and they like, oh, okay, you're a trainer now. Wow. Like, and then they put somebody that they, 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 you know, not not to say what it is, but they put the blind with the blind. Like, yes, <laughs> I, I, I I just came off the trailer, off the truck with with two people that wasn't cool, 
And I still feel that I'm not even up to par, but yet you put somebody else on the trailer with me thinking yeah. thinking that I can get them up to par. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you you learn real real quick what, what CR England is about. And you also learned real quick that that making the money there wasn't uh wasn't there either. Did you did did you finish out the uh the obligation with them or did you or you just said fuck it and left? No, I wanted to just just to do due diligence because I just felt the respect of them training me. Mm-hmm. The least I can do is finish the program, but um I ended up being stranded and was told I'll be paid due to not knowing why the truck was broke down or however and I never got paid so because I felt oh you want to play with my money then you know (laughs) so I ended up quitting and took them to court and I won so I was able to get out of the contract wait wait a minute you took them to court you took them to court. I mean, you actually called a. You, yes. you actually called a. How, how did that work out? I mean, what? Did, I mean, what was the process of you uh, taking them to court? Well, um, I reside in California, and so I um, was referred to go to um, um, is it employment equal opportunity. Okay. Lawyers. Okay. And I found my situation with them. Um, I kept all of my, I see, I learned with, when it comes to legal, you have to keep all paperwork. Oh, if, yeah. if that's text messaging, mm-hmm. emailing, um, uh, pay video, stuff, whatever. Video, yes. audio. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes I as agree. long as you can keep up with those things, you're liable to win, especially if you can literally prove your case. Mm-hmm. There's, I mean, there's no way you're not able to win, but I was able to win because I had proof. So, um, all right. So, what was the case? That, what What was the case about? What, why Why did you take them to court? The case was dealing because I broke down and I was down for five days. Mm-hmm. Um, the dispatcher told me that he would pay me for those five days, mm-hmm. and he never he never paid me. Mm. Um. So because of that, I was able to show proof of the text messaging back and forth and uh, showing my check stubs of how they were paying me. Mm. Um, So due to that, um, I was paid and it was able to come off of my credit uh, report because I was being threatened through that. Mm. and um completed my contract all right all right congratulations all right so that's uh that's one lawsuit down (laughs) here here comes another so uh so was uh with cr england you decided to uh leave cr england uh, right now so uh, Mm i'll did the the company that we're about to speak about did you go to them after cr england or you went to another company before you went to them i actually went to jb hunt after them okay okay so you did Mm -hmm. uh so you did jb hunt you did a stint with jb hunt and i'm assuming since you was with jb hunt you decided to uh try the 1099 route to you know to earn some more money right yeah. All right. So you uh you 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 want me to you want me to bring the company in or you want or you just want to go ahead and explain? It doesn't matter yourself, you, so go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So the company that we're talking about is Super Eagle. 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 Super <laughs> Eagle out in uh the Chicago land area. Of course, it's a you know I I call it a black ops company, but um, <laughs> it's uh, it's 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 a ten ninety nine company, and uh, and yeah, I'll let you take it from there. So, uh, what happened from start to finish, all the way up until uh, the reason why you wanted to call and and talk to me. Um, I don't know if I should mention other people name in here, but I'm going to just keep it real. And well, I, if I, it tell you, I, I, I tell you what, just say, uh, just, just for the sake of the, you know, for the sake of, uh, continuity and the sake of the show, just say, 
if it's a female Jane and if it's a male Joe, that's it. You you don't have to okay. you don't have to you don't have to say their name or nothing like that. Or if you just want to say that guy or whatever the case, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but if it's a female Jane and if it's a male Joe, okay. Um, so I was uh, watching Joe's uh, YouTube channel, mm-hmm. and um, Joe uh, referred me to this to Super Ego, and um, uh, Super Ego has you, you know, fly to uh, Illinois. Um, they ask you for if you want a brand new truck or. Not, uh, zero down, uh, but you gotta like wait two weeks or however to get in the, uh, before you can get your money or however. Mm-hmm. So I put a down payment on a brand new truck, 2021 Volvo, mm-hmm. and um, got there my first week, had an issue because the um, they didn't want to do it. Uh, wait, so wait, 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 you went, wait, you, you went. You went dead for a hot second. So okay, re- repeat what you just said. They didn't do what now. Um, the truck needed a wheel alignment or a wheel adjustment, mm-hmm. and um, when when I asked, they didn't do so. Oh, okay, okay. Um, they, they, um, they were giving me a runaround, and when I was taking it to Volvo, they kept telling me like, uh, "It's nothing wrong with our hybrid." Mm-hmm. So I just. Uh, I just stuck with it because I was, you know, I had a determination. I had a plan already. So mm-hmm. um, um, I contacted Joe, the one that referred me to the company, to tell him my situation because I felt me being a female, they're not going to listen. So I felt if a male speak, it would, you know, push the issue. Mm-hmm. Um, but Joe left me stranded and told me, oh, well, you only put so much down. What do you expect? Mm-hmm. And like so basically neglecting me but but you're supposed to be my mentor i paid you uh money to join your mentorship program but this is what i'm getting so oh, i just stopped wait, contacting wait, wait, him wait wait wait, wait hold oh. on. <laughs> so joe is is mm-hmm. all on youtube promoting super eagle as this quote-unquote great company and mm-hmm. can and inspire you to come on. Mm-hmm. You you pay him money? How to be in his mentorship program, yes. To be oh, oh, oh wait. So mm-hmm. is is so what what is this guy? He he drives for them or or what? No. Nope. He's an actual owner operator. Uh, all right, and so, very popular on YouTube. Okay, so <laughs> he's an owner. He's an owner operator driving for Super Eagle himself. No, he drives for himself. Oh, he drives for himself, but he's correct. He's he's what what he's doing with Super Eagle then? What he's he's promoting them or something? Uh, yes, because the situation was he asked me could i afford like my own uh, could i afford a down payment on the truck i told him what i had uh to put down he told me that was not enough and that's when he referred me to super ego oh okay 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 so this mm-hmm. this this popular youtuber uh mm-hmm. over here selling <laughs> selling uh, selling wolf tickets selling uh trucking guru "Quote unquote information, you 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 paid you paid into him. Uh, how how much you paid him? How, how much you give him? Five hundred. So you 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 gave this so called guru five hundred dollars to <laughs> you know the the man. That's crazy. <sighs> man, I." Okay, so <laughs> you, you you gave this quote unquote guru five hundred dollars to you know to streamline your your way into uh into trucking. He suggested super ego, but when you get over there to super ego, you are experiencing problems 
that you felt that, you know, since you're, you know, you are quote unquote mentoring me, you, you went back to them just to say, you know, Hey, you know, they, they not doing me right. You suggested this company. Can you do something about it? And he say, what? Just flat out no? He, he, told, uh, he told me, well, you gave them, because I gave them 2000 No, I gave them 1500 down. Okay. And he said, what do, you, what do you expect for that? Okay, so what do I expect? I, I expect you to tell me. I'm, I'm, paying <laughs> you to, I'm, I'm paying you to give me advice, bruh. I but mean, not what, only what that, I, to, I, I mean, you, you <laughs> didn't tell you. You didn't tell me how much to put down. You just, you just said, "Yo, go with Ooh. Super Ego," and now I'm with them. And you know, they telling me that you know all I need, all I need is fifteen hundred down. Now, maybe if you would have kind of like mentored me the right way for the five hundred dollars that I gave you, you could have told exactly. me that I needed that I needed to put down a little bit more. I, that's a bro. That's a slap in the face <laughs> right there. But not only there. that. Wow. But not only that. I don't. I don't care if I put two dollars down. I didn't come half stepping. That's how I feel. If I came half stepping, like oh well, even though you said fifteen, I only got a thousand. Mm. I can. I can get the business. But I didn't come half stepping. So if I'm asking. Uh, for help from the company, I should get what I asked for because I didn't come half stepping. Right, right. Regardless yeah. of how much I put down, right. business is business. Right, because the company, the, the the company, like I said, when when I talk to these, that's why I said when I tell <laughs> people to do your due diligence, do your due diligence, man. Because I mean, it's only so much information that I can that I can give you, but it's up to you to 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 do more you know even though i talk you know even though i talk to these recruiters and i get the information out there to you and all like that it's still you you still gotta take maybe one extra step and be like huh okay well let me find out a little bit more about said company you know what i'm saying and then and then i will make my uh make my decision so since YouTube Guru is is now <laughs> is is now saying okay, well you you he he pretty much spam uh scam you out of your money. Let's just throw it out. There. Yeah, he did, let's, and it's fine. Uh huh. He yeah. can ha- he can chunk it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's let's just throw it out there. He he scammed you out of your money. Now you still mm-hmm. with super ego with with mm-hmm. with with more problems than a little bit. So what other issues that you experience? Uh, was super e- uh, was super easy issue um, everything was going fine uh, making decent money I'm not gonna lie on that mm-hmm. um, you do lose you know sleep and stuff like that but if you got the hustle mentality then you know all of that really goes out the door so um, I, I usually stay out three months mm-hmm. and then I come home for a month okay when I first started I all uh, when I first started, I came home for only a week, and then that's when I started my three months. Okay. So um, this particular time, it, I stayed out for because my birthday was coming and my great grandmother's birthday was coming. So okay. I just uh, I just felt that instead of going back on the road, because they always keep you mainly on the East Coast, mm-hmm. I would just you know stay out a month and a half. Mm-hmm. So I could do everything I need to do while I'm here. And then once I hit the road, it's all about the road. There you go. Um, there you go. That's what's um, up. Um, so, yeah, this happened in July of this year. Mm-hmm. And um, I parked my truck at one of the truck stops okay. because I don't have a place to actually park it. Okay. Um, and I went to go check on it cause it needed an oil change. And when I got there, the truck was not there or the trailer. Uh, what? Yeah. Huh? So I panicked. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, wait, you, you, <laughs> you get up, you know, you live in, you, 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 you live in Cali, right? So I'm assuming truck, yes. you know, truck parking and, and parking near, I mean, parking at your home is like, 
kind of <laughs> kind of a negative there. So yeah, you, you the where you park your truck at. Now I'm going to ask you this because I know somebody in the comments is going to be an asshole. So I'm <laughs> I'm going to ask you this: Did you get permission from the from the truck stop to park your truck there? No, I did not. Okay, okay. Um, did, I went off assumption due to that's that's for park, you know, truck parking. So I got you. I got you. <laughs> did did you uh, did uh, being that you didn't let the being that you didn't let the uh uh truck stop no uh when you went there to go check the ch to go check on your truck what was the, what was the conversation between you and the truck stop was this like a loves petro or was this like a mom and pops no this is actually uh is that 